You're listening to the best local sports show. Boots, Bats and Balls on Six Towns Radio. Hello, I'm Ross Hancock and I'm here tonight at the Britannia Stadium for Six Towns Radio to interview Stoke City and Bosnia International, Asmir Begovic. He's here tonight to promote the Stoke City 7 scheme, which inspires children of 7 years of age to support Stoke City. For just £10, they get the chance to open a Britannia account, they get a free shirt and two match tickets, as well as tonight's event, Meeting a Footballer. Begovic had a fantastic season so far with seven clean sheets and his appearance tonight is sure to spark some new Stoke passion into the bloodstream of some of the children here tonight. Firstly, Asmir, here tonight to support the City 7 scheme. You've been involved before at Parkour Primary. How important events like these and do you think he helped the children choose Stoke City as their football club? Well, whatever we can to get, to get the new generation in the game is, is you know, is huge. Um, the club are really active and trying to get the kids involved in the club and trying to get them to support Stoke City and you know, if we players can help and make appearances to, to make them help help them make the decision, then obviously we'll be there. And on to football now. Another fantastic performance at the weekend, perhaps just as importantly, another clean sheet for you. Seven for the season now. Do you think you're in the form of your life, or do you think you're reaching the peak of your career or not? <laughs> well, I, um, you know, I'm hoping there's still a good few years ahead of me, so I know, I know I've got a still a lot, lot to learn in the game, and I've been really um, enjoying the season so far. Things are going really well overall for the team, which is the most important thing. We've been getting some wins now and um, putting everything right, so that's been important. But, you know, I'm enjoying playing in a good team, um, playing with some good players, and, you know, it brings the best out of everyone. And defensively, we looked a lot better this season. Has the manager placed any extra emphasis on defending this summer? Um, you know, I don't know what it is this year. I think we've always really worked hard on being organised and being hard to beat. So it's it's definitely nice. It's been nice this year. We've had a settled side. You know, we haven't had too many changes, and uh, that's helped build a relationship between us and hopefully bringing the best of, best of our performances. And it's not just the club that you're doing well for. For Bosnia as well, a couple of clean sheets and three wins and a draw in the World Cup qualifiers. How are the qualifiers going? Well, so far so good. I think we couldn't ask for much more. Ten points in the first four games has been a good return. Um, but we know we've got the toughest part of qualifying left. You know, we've got six games, some really tough games ahead of us. And, um, you know, we're not getting, carry- getting carried away. We're not supposed to be in these positions. We're a tiny nation that um, that's not supposed to qualify. But, you know, we're looking forward. We like the challenge. We're really confident in the group that we have and the players that we have. There's some good quality coming through. And as a nation, it's important because... Um, Obviously, Bosnia has been through a lot of troubles, and it hasn't been independent for a long time. It's nice to see the, the actual the local game growing and, uh, and teams benefiting from our success. And alongside football, you've got a couple of other sporting interests. You've got the NFL, I know you're a big yeah, fan of. Is it the Patriots? The Patriots, that's right, yes. yeah. And uh, dressage as well with your wife. Yeah. Uh, which do you think is your favourite? <laughs> uh, do you know what? I like I like all sports. I have a really respect for all, all other athletes in different sports. Everyone has its um, has its challenges, and I'm really just a sports geek, sports fanatic, and uh, I get my head into anything. Obviously, I, I've been into dressage because my wife you know, has been doing that for her whole life, and I've really taken to that and see the effort and commitment it takes to, to succeed in that sport as well. So it's just nice for me to be part of. And finally, there's been a bit of paper talk about interest from Liverpool and Chelsea. Do you take much notice of those sort of rumours? Well, obviously, you're aware of it, and a lot of it is speculation, as, you know, as far as I'm, there's nothing concrete there. And, you know, I take it as a positive thing. Obviously, you must be doing something right if you're getting linked to the top clubs in the world. And, um, you know, that, 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 that's all I really look for in that, to be honest. And I'm joined by Wayne Minton, who's here at the City Sevens event tonight as well. Um, how did you hear about the scheme? Um, well, we heard about it through another parent um, and all the information's on the internet through the club. Um, and it was one of them where we just applied for it and then you get all the info through. It was quite simple, really. So what do you make of it? Yeah, it's um, it's a £10 fee, um, but with that, the, your child gets a top, you get a ticket. So there's an opportunity to open a yes. savings account for them, obviously with Britannia and the cooperative, um, which to me sounds really good value for money. Does it help your son find football? Does he support Stoke now? Um, well, he he's, <laughs> he's, he's sort of taking a leaf out of his eldest brother's book. Um, he's into football big time and will the same, although Stoke's not normally his first team, he prefers Man City, <laughs> So, uh, but it has helped him a little bit, um, he's into Stoke now, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, and Begovic is here tonight, what have you made to Begovic's start to the season? Um, excellent start, um, one of the best defences in the Premier League at the moment, um, can't put a foot wrong at the moment, hopefully I haven't put a case on him. <laughs>